Okay, uh, so let's have a very brief introduction of uh, what is data mining and also how, um, why we have this class as a required class in I. Uh, so again, I think I have shown this, uh, shared this article in the uh, Python class. Uh, so this is from this article that uh, in the past, so that how the intelligence analysis was performed. So uh, the uh, analyst will gather information from different resources and also they will save the resource or the information into a file, uh, file store and also they will produce a report to the customers. Uh, so, however, so in the future, or actually right now, so uh, the analyst, uh, because we have huge amount of data, the, the big data, that uh, human beings cannot consume or analyze such huge amount of data. So then we need the database where the computer can store the data, organize the data, and then we use different tools to query the data, uh, to perform some analysis. And then we have our output, so like some visualizations, and we deliver such kind of the report to our customer. Uh, so in our program, so that is how our class is organized. So uh, in this class 340, so that is how we, uh, we, we will learn that how we can organize data into databases. So we will talk about different types of databases, uh, like relational database, uh, non-relational database, and also other type of data of, uh, um, storage, like uh, data warehouse and also data lakes. Uh, in the I340, so that is data visualization class, so we will learn that how we can use uh, the uh, BI tools, so business uh, intelligence tools uh, to analyze data. So uh, especially we're going to use Tableau. Um, and also in the um, I 480, so I'm now teaching that a section now. So uh, that is introduction to machine learning and also artificial intelligence. So we will introduce that how we can use AI tools, uh, like different machine learning models, um, natural language processing tools, um, facial recognition that help understand data. Uh, so, but what is machine learning? Oh, but, but what is data mining? Uh, actually, data mining is a, may I say that, it's a pretty old, pretty old concept. Um, so generally, it is the way that the process that we get knowledge from the data. So I would say that all three together will be the data mining, uh, fit with the concept of data mining. So after this class, uh, you see you, you don't know how to steal, you don't know how to the mining, you don't know how to do data mining. That is because uh, you had finished all the, the all the three classes together. Then you know that how to do the data mining. And last semester, we all have suffered <laughs> the Python. Uh, so Python class is really an introduction uh, that help you get prepared for all the other classes because this class we will need to use Python. Uh, 342, we also will use a little bit of Python, and also 480, we will also use Python. Okay, uh, so that is a very brief introduction about the data mining. Um, and then we'll, let's talk about, so what is database? And specifically, uh, for the first few weeks, we will talk about the relational database. So relational database has uh, have been widely used in many uh, domains, in many industries, and also agencies, uh, companies, etc. Uh, so it is probably the, it has the longest history of the database. Um, although there are other type of databases, but relational database has been widely used still nowadays. <clears throat> so no matter what type of database that you are using, so the goal of the database are pretty much the same. So as now, so in the, in the area of the big data, so everything is connected uh, to the cloud, to the database. Um, 
So we always talk about we are connected with each other and also we are connected with uh, to the cloud, uh, like your cell phones, your tablet, uh, computers, your smart watches, or smart devices. Uh, so all those devices are not directly connected with each other. So the way that we gather information is from the database. So there are a huge amount, a lot of different databases. They are either relational database or non-relational database. So they contain the data and we gather data from those databases. Okay, so we gather data from those databases. Uh, so the goal of the database will be like, first, we want to share the data among different users. Uh, we want to share that securely. Um, and also we want to share that efficiently, faster. We want to share the right data. And we also want to reduce the data redundancy. So we want to increase the efficiency. Uh, we want to keep our data as, uh, as efficient, uh, database as efficient as possible. So we don't want those unnecessary data. Okay, so we want to reduce the data redundancy because our, our storage is limited. So we don't have unlimited data storage. We also want to keep the data consistent. Uh, so that consistency. So that means that the way that we design the data uh, uh, structures, the data models, um, we want to keep that data be consistent so that, uh, for example, that uh, one database knows that I am the instructor of the I340 uh, um, and the other database, other data resources should recognize and also uh, um, understand that, okay, uh, okay, I am the, the instructor of 340. So the data should be consistent all over all the data resources that are connected. Data integrity. So we want to make sure that our data is accurate. Um, uh, also human beings make mistakes. There are some mechanisms that uh, can make sure that, um, well, we are not 100% make sure that data are accurate, but uh, we are try to uh, increase accuracy of the data. So we want to eliminate, eliminate those outdated or incredited as much as possible. Um, and also flexibility of the data retriever so that uh, when we have the data that in the data space, uh, you, you want to get the data that uh, only the data that you're interested, you don't want to get all the entire records. So for example, when you select um, the cost information of this semester, uh, probably you just want to select the, uh, the classes that are offered in I program. You don't want all the courses that from all the GMU, okay. uh, other departments. Uh, so you, you will be able to define their queries. So you want to have a very flexible data re retrieval. Uh, 